Welcome back YouTube. So today we're going through the top five hamstrings only exercises. I'm going to show you the exact form and technique and also the workouts that you can use to build your hamstrings. Now again, if you're someone who has difficulties building up their lower part of their body, so their legs, hamstrings is a big part of your lower body, right? So today, I'm going to show you the exact form and the top five exercises for building your hamstrings. With that being said, let's get to it. All right. So the first thing that you want to do before you start your exercises is to stretch out the hamstrings. Okay. This is good for, you know, lengthening the muscle, but also like releasing the stress and tension around your hamstring muscle area. Um, if you're someone who doesn't stress or warm up before an exercise, trust me, you don't want to do that. It's going to catch up to you when you get older. Um, if you're still young in your early twenties, um, I highly recommend doing some stretches and warm up before every exercise. You also want to stretch out your lower back because we're going to be doing a lot of exercises today that will target the lower back okay if you work from home or you sit down a lot you might often experience a lower back pain right or if you bend a lot you might experience a lower back pain so it is always good to stretch out the part of the body that you are about to work out on so even right now I can feel that tension on my hamstring um, but yeah just give yourself five ten minutes to warm up before you start the actual workout right so let's get to it so the first exercise that we have today is called good mornings seeing how it is still 6 a.m in the morning it is only fair that i start with an exercise called good mornings so this specifically targets the glutes and the hamstrings um i'm going to show you exactly how to perform this exercise here we go As you can see, it is almost as though you are well, bending down to say good morning to someone. Make sure that you are, it's more of a trust, pushing the hip backwards as opposed to a squat, right? So we're not doing a squat. We're not over bending the knees. We are sliding backwards trusting our hip all the way back, keeping your knees just slightly bent. You do not feel that stress on your hamstrings and slowly make your way up.
The next exercise that we have today is a kettlebell swing. This is almost a full body exercise, but it also targets the glutes and the hamstrings, right? So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you the exact way to perform this exercise. The next exercise that we have is a Romanian deadlift. Everyone should know this. This is one of the most basic form of targeting your hamstrings and glutes. Um, I think I've done this before on my previous videos, but again, I'm going to show you a desert form and technique on how to perform the Romanian deadlift to target your hamstrings. With that being said, let's get to it. Alright, so the next exercise that we have is our machine hamstring curls. Uh, for this exercise, you can do both legs at the same time. But for me, I always feel like my right leg is more dominant than my left, which I think is common for everyone or most people. So I tend to focus on one leg at a time. So that way, like, you know, both my legs are being worked on equally all right so i'm gonna start off with my right leg and then switch to my left
listen do not sleep on this exercise honestly um it specifically targets the hamstrings isolates like every other part of your body or your lower body and specifically target to your hamstrings um in order to make it more challenging for me i always pause for like one or two seconds when i get here to feel that contraction on my hamstrings right pause one two seconds and release pause one two seconds and release then i am going to switch to my left So the last exercise that we have today is our hip extension exercise. I do not particularly perform this exercise on a regular basis, but um, man, if you want to build your glutes and your hamstrings, and we don't lie, you want to be doing this. Like you want to make this exercise your best friend, right? And as you progress, like progressive overload, you start up by doing it without any weight, so body weight. And then as you get more advanced, you can use kettlebells or a dumbbell or literally like any barbell just to increase the load to target the hamstrings and glutes. Again, I do not perform this exercise. Um, but I am going to try my best to show you exactly how to perform it if you want to build your hamstrings. Here we go. You see, the mistake that most people make if you're new to this exercise is that when you go down, they maintain this posture right here and then they come up like this, right? Doing this exercise like this, you're placing so much uh, stretch stress and tension on your lower back so by the time you do it like 10 reps inevitably you're going to start feeling that pain on your lower back so one thing that i have learned uh, recently is that you do not um ash your back or keep your chest uh, uh straight or forward what you want to do is the opposite so you actually want to round like almost as though you're hugging yourself you round your upper body right round your back so that way when you go down you come up like this right it takes that pressure off your lower back onto your glutes 
and your hamstrings. So this is how to perform this exercise. The focus and tension will always be on my hamstrings and my glutes as opposed to my lower back. Does that make sense? I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume you said yes on the other side of the video, so yeah. So that brings me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You are going to be doing me a good favor. Guys, do I have to beg you to subscribe? Like my video and subscribe and you're going to be helping a boy in need, okay? You already know what to do. Support your boy. Come on now.